There's something that's been preying on the minds of people recently. Is the world about to be transformed through artificial intelligence? ChatGPT is a deep learning model that is designed to generate human-like text. By a certain date, we were going to have computers that had emotions and feelings. The recent explosion of consumer-use generative AI actually goes far beyond text chatbots. Hello, I'm an alternate version of you. I'm younger and better looking, but my face doesn't exist in the real world because I'm created by a combination of AI tools. With a few commands, I can be in another place, transform into, into another, another person, person, and speak in another voice. If I'm plugged into ChatGPT, I can even answer all your questions. This trend could look cool to some, but concerning to others. A recent open letter by leading AI experts called for a pause in the development of more powerful models. Some even fear that AI could ultimately turn super villain. It's called the Terminator scenario. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So, what potential harm could advanced AI tools like ChatGPT do to society? Let's see. Among other issues, they could create biases, spread misinformation, and violate privacy. So it is important to establish ethical frameworks and regulations. Many governments are working on related policies. China has issued a draft regulation over generative AI, with public consultation finishing in May. With several Chinese companies rolling out their own chatbots, the need for proper industry oversight and guidelines is clear. The more than 20 articles in the draft are a lot to digest. So this time, I'm asking a Chinese-developed language model to break it down. I fed the whole text for it to summarize, and I'll let my handsome AI avatar narrate it. First, generated content should embody socialist core values. Second, measures should be taken to prevent discrimination. Third, providers should respect privacy, intellectual property rights and business ethics and avoid unfair competition. The draft also says providers should register their algorithms with the authority and lists punishments for rule violations. It's hardly a surprise that generative AI's political implications have become a top priority for policymakers worldwide. In a recent G7 meeting, ministers discussed AI regulations that preserve democratic values and address disinformation from foreign forces. As for the draft's emphasis on bias and discrimination, it's something that ChatGPT had been previously accused of until it later made improvements. I talked to two experts about this. Kai Shen from consulting firm McKinsey believes generative AI can actually reduce bias and discrimination in the workplace going forward. In some ways, I actually think that with AI, it's, 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 it's becoming more objective because there's actually ways you can go and look at the decision making, actually detect biases. It, it helps you to make better decisions. And if you think about a large company, probably on the order of hundreds of decisions that are being made on a daily basis. If you can improve the accuracy and the quality of each decision by just, you know, two or three percent, the impact is massive. But experts do remain vigilant. To avoid illicit AI-generated results requires proper training for technicians who train AI models. Ken Zheng from financial service firm PwC also discussed the importance of human guardrails in companies that use these services. It's really have a human agency to look at all the results, to look at all the errors and the bias and the performance instability, just to assess whether the model itself gives consistent results and able to explain the result efficiently uh, to, to address uh, all the questions raised through the process. We call it explainable AI. Whether you champion the power of AI model or human supervision or both, undesired AI results can still appear. When they do, enforcing proper punishment is a whole other challenge for regulators. There are concerns that experts have raised but do not yet have conclusive answers to. Article 5 of the draft is an example. It says that the providers of generative AI services should assume the responsibility of the content producer. Well, then what about the users who gave the commands that generated the illicit results? 
who's more responsible? When AI's content generation mechanism is this complex, assigning culpability might not be as clear-cut a matter as it seems. Their filtering mechanisms can be easily bypassed by malicious users, which can result in the generation of illegal content. This is a glaring issue that warrants continued research on policy and tech solutions. Qihu360, a Chinese internet security firm, has been entrusted by the Ministry of Science and Technology with the responsibility of conducting collaborative AI safety research with domestic partners. A delicate task. There are many uncertainties regarding its security risks and how it would develop. If we impose overly strict regulations on it from the beginning, it may stifle innovation. Hey, here's a fun fact. Yeah? Even the creator of Mid Journey, the AI that generated my face, said in an interview that he doesn't fully understand how his own AI works. That's exciting and scary at the same time. So I guess regulating AI is a matter that needs constant studying. Of course, I have not been talking to an actual AI. The dialogues you just heard were all scripted in order to illustrate my points. But they are also in homage to a 2013 film called Her, which depicts a man's relationship with his AI chatbot, whose intelligence grows beyond control. Many people, including me at the time, wouldn't have believed that the plot would come this much closer to reality just a decade later.